That's me, Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, doing the best job in the world. Fixing things. Wonderful. Usually I don't have a crowd or cheering from the peanut gallery. So why the big fuss this time? Well, it all started this morning. The day started like any other, with a garage bell ring. Ah. I had a visitor. I love having visitors. It was Mr. Lion. He seemed upset. Mr. Monkey, I cannot believe it. I simply cannot believe it. Believe what? That. Look! Well, what do you know? Your horn's gone. Where did it go, Mr. Lion? I have no idea. Yesterday it was there, and today, in its place, I found this. A roll of packing tape? How very odd. I had made Mr. Lion the perfect little horn. And I had bolted it down real tight. How could this horn just disappear? And why was it replaced with a roll of packing tape? Thank you, Mr. Lion. Now there's only one thing to do. I'll make you a new horn. But first I'll need my... Trusty Monkey! Cardboard box. My monkey wrench is missing. Something fishy was going on. Mr. Lion's horn was missing. And so was my trusty monkey wrench. I had a funny feeling that they weren't just missing. They were... Stolen! <gasps> stolen? Mm-hmm. There's a thief in town, and I'm gonna find him. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Detective, was on the case. Say, Mr. Monkey, do you mind if I join you? I'm always game to solve a mystery, and it gives me a reason to wear all these disguises. Let's go! And with that, our search for the thief began. First, we found Miss Poodle. Her hair was frizzy, and she herself was frazzled. Was she our thief? Oh, Mr. Monkey, my hairbrush is missing. Nope, she was not our thief. Have you seen it? I'm afraid not, Miss Poodle. What do you think happened to it? I'm not sure. But when I reached for my hairbrush this morning, I picked up this instead. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, my! A ball of string! It's a clue and a delightful play toy. Mr. Lion, I didn't see you there. Do you mind if I take this? Go right ahead. So I took the ball of string and the picture of Ms. Poodle's beloved hairbrush and promised to help find it. Sometime later, we came upon Ms. Owl. I was surprised to see her awake at this hour. She's usually a night owl, very suspicious. Maybe she was our thief. Who? Who? Mr. Monkey, I need your help. Have you seen my sunglasses? Or not? I usually keep my sunglasses right here, but all that's inside is... Wrapping paper. Another clue. I need my sunglasses for flying and landing. Just look at this terrible parking job. So close to this brick wall. 
Sorry, I haven't seen your sunglasses, Ms. Owl. But I'll take this photo and the wrapping paper and keep my eyes peeled for you. Then, we stumbled upon Coach Moose, who was acting suspiciously. Oh, hi there. You're just the monkey I was hoping to see. Really? Why is that? Did you maybe want to give me something? Or some things? Uh, no. I need your help to fix my problem. Wouldn't you know it, I can't find a Junior Rangers ice hockey trophy. It used to be back here, but in its place I found these scissors. Strange, eh? Indeed it was. I took the scissors and told him that I'd keep a lookout for the trophy. Careful there, Mr. Monkey. You've got a T-Rex tail in you, and he looks hungry. It was troubling, to say the least. Everyone in town was missing something. We had clues, but no idea who the thief was. And now I had a partner dressed like a daisy. So, why all the different disguises, Mr. Lion? Because I don't want to be recognized. Makes sense. Mr. Crocodile? Ahoy, Mr. Monkey! Are you here about my missing anchor? Your anchor's missing? It is indeed! What's curious is how a heavy anchor could go missing. Just like that! What's even more curious is how this giant daisy has suddenly appeared on my dock. Yes, it's been a very strange day, Mr. Crocodile. A lot of things in town are missing and have been replaced with other things. Like packing peanuts? These were in the spot where my anchor was. Another clue. We were getting closer. I could feel it. Mind if I take a look around for more clues? Be my guest. Ugh. Look, footprints. Footprints? I can assure you those aren't mine. I have cute little crocodilian feet. And those are not them. Then this could be the clue we're looking for. The thief's footprints. Let's follow them, Mr. Lion. Come on! A daisy named Lion. Curiouser and curiouser. We followed the footprints along the dock and headed down a deserted alleyway. Then suddenly, the footsteps stopped. How can footprints just stop? I don't know. And just like that, we had a chase. After him, Mr. Lion! We chased Mr. Chameleon, but he was one sly reptile. We thought we lost him but Mr. Lion had an idea. My, what a big roar you've got, little old lady. Give it up, chameleon. Give what up, Mr. Monkey? You know what I'm talking about. Where's the hairbrush, the trophy, the anchor, the sunglasses? My horn! And my monkey wrench. I have no idea what you're talking about. But we tracked your footprints, and you're acting all sneaky. Zigzagging around town, climbing fences. You must be hiding something. Not at all. I was simply soaking my feet in the water. And then I saw how late it was. I needed to get home fast.
But you know the old rhyme? Step on a crack, break your mother's back. The dock was full of cracks. I didn't want to hurt my dear mum. But what about hiding against the wall? And jumping the fence? I'm a chameleon, a camouflage. I took a shortcut. Is that a crime? Well, if it is, then lock me up, Mr. Monkey. <sighs> Looks like we've hit a dead end. We're never going to find the thief who left a box, a ball of string, packing tape, wrapping paper, scissors, and packing peanuts. A box, a ball of string, packing tape, wrapping paper, scissors, and packing peanuts, you say? I might know someone you should talk to. What do you know about this box, ball of string, packing tape, wrapping paper, scissors, and these packing peanuts? Tell us everything you know. Oh! <laughs> what a cutie wooty. Boop. <laughs> oh, now that you mention it, I do remember a customer who bought all the packing materials I had. <laughs> who was it? Sure, someone new in town, a little guy. What would a tiny new neighbor want with all those packing materials? I had some thinking to do. Here's what we know. We have a number of things missing. We found a few clues in their place. Our suspect is male, so he's not these two. He's also little. And he's new in town. And at that moment, I knew who the thief was. We had to move fast. Our suspect had flown the coop, but I knew where to go. Ms. Squirrel, you tried to throw us off your scent, but we know you took everyone's things and left items from your store behind. You're the thief. There's nobody new in the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, tell that to the new guy next door. It turns out Miss Squirrel was telling the truth. There was someone new in the neighborhood, and his home was wrapped in clues. Uh, sorry for calling you a thief. Our mistake. A thousand apologies. Hey, uh, can I help you? We're looking for some things that we think you may know about. Like, uh, what? Like these. I promise you, Viking, I don't know what you're talking about. Then what would you call those? They look suspiciously like a boat anchor. A hockey trophy. My horn! And my trusty... Monkey wrench! <laughs> you got me. You got me. I did it. I took it all. Every last thing. I'm so sorry. We found our thief and everything we were looking for. But I had just one question. Why? And then he sang like a canary. Well, I like packing things. I love it, actually. But I'd already packed everything I own. So I started taking other things to pack. I don't know how to... 
to stop! <sighs> I need help. And help is what I did. I came up with a plan. Mr. Lion and I helped Packrat start a packing business. Now, he could pack anything he wanted and didn't have to steal anything ever again. It was all on the up and up. The case was tied up in a neat little bow. Well, almost. We just had one more thing to do. Everyone got their things back. And for me, it was time to get back to work. To think, if I hadn't cracked the case, I almost couldn't do my job. Get a boy, Mr. Monkey, get a boy. Wonderful. The best job in the world. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Detective. stole every paint can except for these, Officer Una. Do you think you can find the paint thief? I'm sure we will. We're going to catch the robber red-handed. How do you know? A police officer's hunch. Plus, we've got a few clues right here. Not again. The captain's going to be very upset. I've got to get to Carl's car wash. some excitement. Today has been as dull as watching paint dry. That's Officer Una. Wonder what the emergency is. Carl, I need your assistance. Things got a little messy on the job today. Can you clean my car? Let me find your vehicle, officer. Is it a police car, an ambulance, or a minivan? It's definitely a police car. Let's see how messy this car is. Is it a little messy, medium messy, or super duper messy? <laughs> I'd say it's super duper messy. Let's see what type of mess we have on our hands. Is it goopy space goo? Wet paint? Or delicious ketchup? Mmm. I'm gonna say wet paint. That'll be eight tokens, Officer Una. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Here I go.
Now that's what I call a clean getaway. See you, Officer Una. Finny, what you up to? I'm trying to find the costume I'm going to wear to school tomorrow, Papa. We're talking about what we want to be when we grow up. I have to dress up like whatever that job is. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. Being a clown is a great job. No, I don't want to be a clown when I grow up. I want to be... <laughs> Wonder Shark! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, of course you want to be Wonder Shark. Wonder Shark has an awesome job. She swims to places near and far. She helps everyone in town. There you go, Sparky. Being a superhero is the coolest, most important job in the world. <laughs> oh, it is a very important job. But you know, there are a lot of other important jobs too. You might like one of them even more. Oh, yeah? Why didn't you come to work with me today? Really? You'll meet everyone I deliver the mail to. They all have different and interesting jobs. Oh, will I meet any superheroes? We'll see. Mr. Shark, good to see you today. And who do we have here? This is Finny. She's helping me deliver mail, and she's checking out all the different jobs that our neighbors do. Finny, say hello to Chef Seymour. Hi, Chef Seymour. Do you like being a chef? I love being a chef. I get to mix all kinds of fresh ingredients together to make delicious meals. I love seeing all the happy faces when they eat my food. Here you go. Try some sea getty. Mmm, delicious. Mwah. Hmm, I wonder what it would be like to be a chef. All right, I got an order of sea getty with some tasty tomatoes, chunky cheese, and some spicy meatballs. Mwah! Order up! All right, Finny, time to go. We've got a lot more mail to deliver. Thanks for the postcards, Mr. Shark. You're welcome. See you tomorrow, Chef Seymour. Being a chef is a really yummy job. Maybe I'll be a chef when I grow up. Mmm. Then you could make yummy food for Mama and me. Wow! Who lives here? I do! My name is Fish Casso. And who might you be? Hmm? I'm Finny. Everything is so colorful here. But of course, I'm an artiste. <laughs> I made all the art you see here. Really? You don't believe me? <laughs> Come, Finny, you must see what I'm painting right now. A little paint here, swish it there, and voila! 
It's so beautiful. Thank you. I love creating beautiful things and sharing them with others. Wow. I wonder what it'd be like to be an artist. A little paint here, swish it there, and voila! A beautiful flower for all to see. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, it looks just like me. Wow, you look like a superhero, Papa. Your papa has been the inspiration for more than one of my masterpieces. <laughs> he is a very creative mail carrier, always finding new ways to deliver my mail. It's my job. Bye. Bye-bye. Farewell. Being an artist is amazing. Maybe I'll be an artist when I grow up. Ooh, maybe. Hey, Smokey. What's new, Mr. Shark? Did my firefighting magazine arrive today? Ta-da! Ah, nice. You know, Finny, your papa is the bravest mail carrier in town. I can always count on him to show up. Are you a real firefighter? Do you put out lots of fires? Well, uh... Now that you mention it, no, there aren't any fires underwater. But I do get lots of calls for help. Like this one. Smokey here, what's the problem? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Be right there. Excuse me. Someone needs saving. My best pal's up there. You gotta rescue him. <laughs> Come here, little one. Oh, Bubbles, please don't scare me like that again. Thanks so much, Smokey. Wow, that was so cool. Thanks, Finny. Just doing my job. Hmm, I wonder what it would be like to be a firefighter. Finny the firefighter is on the job, going up to save someone in need. Help me, I'm someone in need. Come here, little one. <laughs> Yay! My hero. Well, we've got some more mail to deliver. Come on, Finny. Bye, Smokey! Bye! That was so exciting! Maybe I'll be a firefighter when I grow up. Maybe. You could really help your neighbors as a firefighter. Well, how do you do, Mr. Shark? How do you do to you, too, old McStingray? Here's your mail. Thank you! Oh, these veggies look like the ones at Chef Seymour's restaurant. Well, that's because he gets his vegetables from me. Oh, I pull them right out of the ground, and then your papa carries them over there. He's strong, just like me. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what it'd be like to be a farmer. Old McFeeny had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, Finny had some carrots, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> you know what, Papa? Maybe I'll be a farmer when I grow up. Maybe. Then you could grow food for everyone to eat. It's a satisfying job. And speaking of jobs, we have a lot more deliveries to make. Bye, old McStingray. Bear the well! Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Mama! Finny! 
special delivery. Mwah. Is this where you work, Mama? It sure is, Finny. I'm in charge of all these construction workers. We're building a new playground. Oh, a construction worker sounds like a fun job. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll be a construction worker when I grow up. I can't believe we have a fish casso in the house. And it looks just like you, Papa Shark. It does, doesn't it? So, Finny, have you decided what you want to be when you grow up? Well, let's see. I could be a chef like Chef Seymour. Or an artist like Fish Casso. Or a firefighter like Smokey. Or maybe I could be a farmer like Old Mick Stingray. Or a doctor. Or a construction worker like Mama. It's so hard to choose. It is. There are so many interesting and important jobs out there. But you have lots of time before you grow up, Finny. You don't have to decide now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Special delivery. You want to be a mail carrier? Yep. Being a mail carrier is an awesome job. You get to go to places near and far and visit all sorts of fish. You're creative like an artist, you're brave like a firefighter, and strong like a farmer. And you make everyone happy. They love seeing you every day. You're a real superhero. Aww. Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Do, 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 do. Here's your mail. Numbs. Today, the Bumble Nums are going to make out of this world mooncakes. But what's the secret ingredient? One chunk of moon cheese. The Bumble Nums are in the orchard, waiting for the moon to rise high into the sky so they can make their out of this world mooncakes. Right, Grumble and Humble? Yum! Yum. Right, Stumble? Yum? Yum! Look, Bumble Nums! There's the moon! And it's full! It's time to get the moon cheese for your out of this world mooncakes! Yum! Remember, Bumble Nums, we need one chunk of moon cheese! Go get it! Yum! yum. yum. Yikes! A bumble jumble already? Keep trying! Yum! Yum! Oh no! The moon is just too far away! Yum! What have you got there, Humble? Yum, 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 yum. It looks like leftovers. Yum. Yum. It's a piece of leftover starlight souffle made from three bright, shiny shooting stars. Yum. Mmm. -hmm. Three. You 
made it to the moon. That's one small step for Bumblenums, one giant leap for Bumblenum kind. Yum! 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 Now go get that chunk of moon cheese! Yum! 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 yum. One! You did it! Now that you have that one chunk of moon cheese, it's time to get back to the Bumble Nums kitchen. Yum? But how are you going to get back home? You ate all the Starlight Souffle leftovers. Yum, yum. Tumble through space! Yeah! Hope you find a soft landing! Great water landing, Bumble Nums! Now let's get that moon cheese back to the Bumble Nums kitchen! Stellar job, Bumble Nums! Do you have the one chunk of moon cheese? Yum! Cheesy! <laughs> now that we have the secret ingredient to make our out-of-this-world mooncakes, it's time for the cooking countdown! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Again. How do they taste, Bumble Nums? Is it out of this world? Yeah! Yeah! 